Hello, I'm Delaware County Councilman Kevin Madden. As we celebrate Black History Month, let's honor and learn from some of the remarkable individuals who paved the way for a better future. I highly recommend the book, We Are the Ship, the story of Negro League Baseball, written and illustrated by Kadir Nelson, to anyone interested in exploring the profound and vibrant history of black athletes in America. It's a captivating read that sheds light on the struggles, triumphs, and enduring spirit of African-American baseball players. The Negro National League was formed in 1920 when black baseball club owners came together to create an organized league of play. As their slogan, they used the phrase, we are the ship, all else the sea. A quote from Rube Foster, owner of Chicago American Giants and the main push behind the formation of the league. Negro League Baseball became very popular and remained so throughout the 1930s and early 40s. In the 1942 season, an estimated 3 million fans came out to see the games. Negro League Baseball produced such stars as Oscar Charleston, Josh Gibson, Cool Papa Bell, and Satchel Paige. In 1947, Negro League star Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier and made his historic debut for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Robinson's entrance into the majors was so groundbreaking that each year, Major League Baseball dedicates April 15th as Jackie Robinson Day. And on that day, all players and on-field personnel wear his number 42. Shortly after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier, fellow players like Larry Doby and Satchel Paige joined the Major Leagues. This led to the gradual dissolution of the Negro Leagues as its talented players began to enter the MLB. In addition to the fascinating stories within this book, numerous oil paintings illustrations add a remarkable depth, making it a truly exceptional read. Thank you for joining me today in being inspired by the legacy of these baseball legends who overcame segregation, hatred, and low pay to do what they loved play baseball.